So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about weird things you can't bring to a psych ward. I made a video talking about what you should bring to a psych ward, which is almost the companion video to this one. But without further ado, let's get started with this video. I was hospitalized for one week in May of 2019. It was an eye-opening experience. I learned a lot, but one of the things I definitely learned was all the weird things I couldn't bring in there with me. And so that's what this video is going to be about. So the first thing you can't bring to a psychiatric hospital is your cell phone. You're not allowed to have anything that communicate out of the ward. It mainly comes down to like HIPAA violations because you're gonna be surrounded by people and it's all private health information. So they will take your phone away from you and you won't be able to use it. Now, some places probably let you have phone time maybe, but where I went, I wasn't allowed to touch this thing until I was out of there. But that doesn't mean that we didn't have access to a phone. We had access to a landline, but only for certain times during the day. So the other thing is you can't bring MP3 players, no iPods, nothing that can play music, including musical instruments. So no, I cannot bring my full piano to the psych ward. Oh my God, this thing is so heavy. Ah! So where I went, you couldn't bring a lighter, but you could bring cigarettes. So basically the hospital had a lighter that you could use to light your cigarettes as you needed them on smoke breaks. But basically, yeah, nothing that can cause fire. I mean, that makes perfect sense. You don't want to set the whole ward on fire. That would be bad. You can't bring razors, duh. And another thing is that you can't bring pens, but they will supply you with like these very flexible ones that are extremely hard to write with, but very hard to hurt yourself or someone else with. So uh, don't bring like an actual pen because it'll be way too stiff and you can, I don't know, they'll think you could use it as a shank or something. I mean, basically they're trying to keep you from hurting yourself or hurting someone else. Of course, you can't bring any yarn, no rope, no string, nothing that you could potentially use to hang yourself. Even though there's anti-ligature furniture everywhere, meaning things have curves and there's not really sharp edges to stuff to make sure you can't hurt yourself. They still don't want you bringing in anything you could potentially use to hurt yourself. But in that vein, no knitting needles. So these things are actually pretty sharp anyway. Like there's a reason they're not allowed on airplanes too. Um, but yeah, no knitting needles, no yarn, no needle crap, none of that stuff. Now another thing is wire hangers. And like, yeah, I know you can bring your own clothes, but they don't let you bring your own hangers because for obvious reasons, you don't want to dismantle this thing and use it to hurt yourself or someone else. The next thing is you cannot bring hygiene products products that have alcohol in them. You can bring soap and shampoo just fine, but if it has any kind of alcohol or alcohol derivative, they will look at the ingredient list and they will reject it. And then you'll be stuck with their crappy soap that they give you and you do not want that. I actually brought in shampoo that was considered contraband basically. And so my dad had to bring me new shampoo the next day that didn't have alcohol in it. So yeah, make sure you double check the ingredient list. So similar to the wire hangers and the string, you don't want a wire notebook because again, that little wire can be taken out and used to do God knows what. So the next thing is you don't wanna bring nail polish or nail polish remover. I know it would pass the time so well to be able to paint the toes and fingers of everyone in the unit, but they don't allow you to do that. You also can't bring in anything flammable, um, flammable as well. Only cigarettes and you light those outside anyway, under supervision. Don't bring glass bottles. They will take these things away so fast. I mean, seriously, everyone knows when you break glass, it's sharp and sharp things and psych wards don't mix. Also guns and knives aren't allowed for obvious reasons. And also you can't bring recording devices and that's basically a HIPAA thing. Picture frames are also not allowed. I'm pretty sure it's because most wooden picture frames are very sharp when taken apart. And the next thing is stuffed animals. And this really got me. So this is Madam B, she's 19 years old this year, but basically they don't want you to have bed bugs. Like that's their reason. But I find it really weird that like a lot of people who have mental illnesses have comfort stuffed animals. Like me, especially I have like a ton of stuffed bees. And so I find it really weird that they would keep people away from their comfort stuffed animals while they're on the unit. Yeah, anyway, I read that rule and I like freaked out because when I didn't have B the first day or two, it was really rough. It was really rough because I was in an unfamiliar place with people I didn't know and I didn't even have my longtime companion with me. Ironically, I just talked about stuffed bees, so it's kind of a nice segue that you also can't bring fresh flowers. Now, I don't know why you would bring flowers to a psych unit, but someone did it and that's why they have the rule. I'm just imagining someone with a suitcase full of clothes, full of no alcohol, like body products with a notebook, you know, all that stuff. And then they've got a whole bouquet of fresh flowers. Like, 
Somebody brought in flowers to a psych unit and it went horribly wrong. Now, medications is another thing that they might not allow you to take in because they want you to take their meds. Now, if you have a bottle that says you take a certain prescription, like they will find that pill for you in their stash, but I can't take any of the pills that I've been prescribed and filled myself. Like I have to take their pills. And so that's all based off my intake paperwork for the one hospitalization I've had. If I end up hospitalized again, Trust me, I will update you on all the weird new rules that I found out. But basically at the end of the day, the psychiatric hospital's job is to keep you safe, to keep you from killing yourself, and to basically help you. Now, whether they actually do help is a debate for another video, but at the very least they keep you from killing yourself and that's the most in, most important part right there. So all this stuff I mentioned, the wire hanger, the yarn, wire notebooks, razor blades. I mean, if you just think about like, if it could hurt you or hurt someone else, you're probably not allowed to take it. But anyway, I'm gonna cut the video here. Um, B and I say have a great day and we will see you, we, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.